Oh, it's singing time. Yeah, it's singing time. Oh, it's sing, sing, singing time. Very best time of day. Warm up those voices. Twinkle your toes. Start pretending because here it goes. Because it's singing, singing, dancing, acting time. I do, 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 do. Yeah. Hi, Jody Maley Kirk here, back with Kids Love Musicals. So today it's Magical Musical Monday, and Miss Bridie and I are so excited because this week we're going to be exploring the musical You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. That song that I just sang is actually inspired by a song from You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. It's a song called Supper Time. You're going to be learning a little, little bit later with Miss Bridie. And it's sung by the one and only Snoopy. Oh! In fact, this whole musical features our favorite characters from the Peanuts comic strip by Charles Schultz. So in addition to Snoopy, we have Charlie Brown and his little sister Sally. We have Lucy and Linus, and of course, the piano player Schroeder. Now this musical is very different from some of the other musicals that we've been exploring, unlike Wizard of Oz and Peter Pan and the Jungle Book and Cinderella that had these big, elaborate, epic stories and fantastical landscapes and wonderful villains and a big storyline that took you from the beginning all the way to the end. Your Good Man Charlie Brown is a really simple story. It's made up of little vignettes, little baby scenes that are very much like the comic strip that they were inspired by. So this musical only features six actors. It doesn't have a big ensemble. It doesn't have a huge dance chorus or a big orchestra. It has a really simple set and really simple costumes and really simple but profound ideas. You know, the thing that I love about Charles Schultz and these characters are they're ordinary characters. They're just like us. All of the events that they explore are things that we've explored. How many of you have had a crush on somebody and didn't have the nerve to tell them? Or how many of you get really nervous before a test? How many of you have been on a baseball team or sung in a school choir or gone to school or not been invited to a party? All of those things are explored in the comic strip and they're explored in this wonderful musical. I don't know about you, but I remember when I was little, I loved waiting for the Sunday paper. I would immediately open up the comic section, one, because they were in color, and two, because I loved comics, and I was especially drawn to the Peanuts comic strip. I think partly because I related to Charlie Brown. Sometimes I felt like, like Charlie Brown, the underdog, who never got things quite right. But even though Charlie Brown fought with that kite, or never had the nerve to, to talk to the little red-headed girl. He never gives up, and I loved that about him. So I definitely related to Charlie Brown. I also related to Linus, the dreamer, the philosopher, the person who overanalyzes everything. Totally me. And I always wanted a puppy dog like Snoopy, and there were times when I even thought I was a little bit like Lucy. Because I know this might surprise you, but sometimes I can be pretty bossy. So it's not surprising that these beloved characters needed a larger stage. You know, wasn't too long after the comic strip became really um, popular and was spread throughout the nation that Charles Schultz thought that maybe he should use these characters in television specials. And so we had the Charlie Brown Christmas special. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and so many other holiday things. 
and those became very popular. I don't know about you, but every holiday seems to be defined by watching one of those specials with me and my family ever since I was little. So it's not terribly surprising that this material would make it to the stage. In 1967, the author Clark Gesner wrote this piece and it had immediate success and appeal. In fact, it was so popular that it had a sequel that was made about 20 years later called Snoopy the Musical. I'm so excited that we're going to explore the characters with you and some of these wonderful songs. And to start us off, Miss Bridie, if you click on the video below, is going to work on the opening song with you. It's called Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. I love that the piece opens with this big celebration of Charlie Brown because usually we think of Charlie Brown as the underdog. Good grief. He deserves a parade, and that's exactly how the Broadway musical opens. So if you click below, Ms. Bridie will take you through that opening number, and I will see you on Wednesday.